Okay, so let's look at how themes work. By the way, if this area down here in your terminal starts to get cluttered, on a Mac you can type Command K and it'll clear it, or you can just type Clear and hit Enter and it'll clear it for you. Also, if you know how to activate themes and search for new ones, then you can go ahead and skip this video. So the easiest way to understand themes is by going into our WordPress admin area. So I'm going to start up my project. So click this run project button and it starts my Apache server as well as my database. And then I'm going to click on this URL right here and hit open. Now that URL has popped up in a new tab over here in my browser. And what I'm going to do is go to my admin area. I can do that again by just clicking this up here if I'm already logged in. Um, or I can just go to the URL and type forward slash WP dash admin and hit enter. Okay. So when you do that, you need to make sure that you are logged in um, to the admin area. Now to manage our themes, we can go over here to this appearance section on the left. So click that. And you'll see themes is the first sub menu item right there. Okay, so by default, my active theme right now is 2016. Okay, you may have a different one activated by default. It doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so I can now view my site again if I want to by right clicking up here on the site name. Mine's called custom theme. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to say open link in new tab. Okay, so this is what my homepage looks like right now. If I wanted to swap out to a different theme, I simply go and pick another one. If there's another one in here for you, and you click the activate button. Once you do that, now the other theme is activated. And if I go over here and I refresh the page, now my site looks totally different. It's got a different theme active. Okay, so that's how themes work. You simply activate the one you want. If you want to add a new theme, it's really easy. You can just click this Add New button here. And you can find tons of different themes that have been created by developers. And you can kind of filter through, find the one you want, and simply install it. Okay, but we're going to focus on creating our own theme from scratch. So I'm going to go back to the Themes screen here. And I'm just going to activate the one that mine was on by default which is 2016. So I'm going to click activate. You can just go back to the one that you had by default if you don't have 2016 in there. Okay, so now if I go back and refresh my website, there it's back to the 2016 theme. So it's the same content, it's the same text, it's the same sample content that they've loaded in by default, just so that you can see what your site looks like. But the look and feel has changed. So that's the purpose of a theme.